Three records have been smashed in the Perth property market in September. Now, P.S., if you want to know how your suburb went, comment below and I'll let you know. Firstly, guys, the number of homes available for sale dropped below 5,000 for the first time in 30 years. This is 40% lower than just one year ago. Now, secondly, the median house price rose to a record high of $570,000 in September. This is almost 5% higher than the previous record set all the way back in 2015. And finally, the median time to sell a property dropped to a record low of nine days. You see, Perth was the strongest performance capital city in the year to September with dwelling values rising 8.8%. And the next best performer was Sydney with 7.3% growth. Now, according to Reba.com, the top performing suburbs for house price growth in September were Hall's Head up 3.1%, $570,000. Embleton was up 2.7%, $620,000. Hillary's was up 2.5% to $1,080,000. East Fremantle was up 2.5% to $1,672,500. And Bassendine was up 2.1% to $620,000. $12,500. Now, Westminster, Balcatta, Rivervale, Golden Bay, and Double View were also among the top performers. They all recorded growth over 1.4%. Now, Reba.com data showed the fastest selling suburbs for houses in September were Dudley Park and Seville at three days, Coodnup, Coolangup, and Secret Harbour at four days, and Armidale tapping Butler, like Caversham, and Greenfields all at five days. Now, the most important takeaway from this is that with the exception of tapping, these suburbs all have median house prices below the Perth median. So affordability is important and buyers are moving very fast when they see value. It's also important to note the suburbs offer rental yields between five and 7%, which means they're very attractive to investors. Now, turning to the Perth rental market, Perth's median rent prices remained at record highs in September. The Perth median dwelling rent was 580 bucks per week, unchanged from August and more more than 17% higher than a year ago. Now, WA is experiencing strong demand and there is a limited supply of rentals with just over 1,600 properties available for rent on rewa.com. That's at the end of September. You see the significant imbalance between supply and demand is putting pressure on prices and this is unlikely to change in the near future. Now, according to rewa.com, the suburbs that saw the most growth in their median rent price in September were Highgate, which was up 30% to $665 per week. Inglewood was up 26% to $630 a week. Greenwood was up 21%. $720 a week. Uh, Wembley was up 20% to $540 a week and Bentley was up 19% to $540 a week also. And it took a median of 14 days to lease a rental during September, which is one day faster than the last month. So the market isn't slowing down. Now, Rewa.com data showed the suburbs recording the fastest median leasing times were Byford and Melville at eight days, Thornley, Hamilton Hill, Nedlands, Padbury and Williston at nine days, and Clarkson W and Yanchep all at 10 days. Now the reality is guys, supply is the significant issue facing the market and impacting affordability. We need to maintain a strong level of new home building starts and don't be surprised to see the government intervene shortly to encourage investment and alleviate the gap between supply and demand that is driving house and rent prices to new records. Well guys, that is all from me today. Now please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video and follow up, subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember guys, there's one one thing in life that makes a difference and that is action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.